Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and hopefully everyone's having a good day today and today we're going to be making the sun into a black hole so I've never actually really done this or I no, I haven't done it at all in the latest version of the game but I have done it in previous versions and it was crazy so we're going to do it again today so this is going to be pretty crazy stuff so also before we get into this guys just many many thanks as always for um, the support and the likes and the subscribing and all that good stuff we are closing in on that 800 mark and this is actually a pre-recorded video as well guys so at this time when this has been uploaded I'd probably be into Apple or I will be on holiday in America hopefully I, um, this video is out after the NASA video because if you didn't know um, in my one of my live streams I was planning to um, go to NASA so yeah that video should already be out there so I won't go into it but yeah today we're gonna be making the Sun into a black hole so what we're gonna do is we're gonna completely just pause this simulation and there should be a black hole here which is a mass of one Sun so yeah we've got one right here so what we want to do is we're gonna put it right in the middle there of our Sun then we're gonna delete the Sun and then we got this um, one sun in here so you can see this black hole's got the mass of one sun so it should be exactly like or should have exactly the same pro or do exactly the same so i've also made the planets orbit so they don't get immediately thrown in or pulled out so we're going to see what happens to the planets if we have a black hole in here so this is a very very small black hole as well as you can see it's only 2.95 kilometers so i believe mount everest would be larger than this actually so that's pretty interesting stuff All right so let's slow down the time as well and we're going to go to Earth. So let's have a look here. And we're going to go to a good old Earth here. And the fact is, now there's no sun, there isn't any light source. So that means us humans, we're not going to have a very good time without a sun. We're definitely going to die out within 100 years, probably. I don't even know. Could we survive 100 years without a star? So let's um, speed this up. And if we look at the um, temperature here, it's going to start decreasing. So 12.1. We're traveling a few hours here. If we speed this up, 11, 4, it's all going down, and this is all happening in hours as well. So, Earth is slowly losing its temperature as there is no longer a heat source around the, um, or no longer a heat source which is warming Earth up. So now it's all freezing over. So as you can see, all of Europe is now ice or, or snow. All of Northern Asia is, all that's left is, I think that's India there. We've got, even Africa is starting to get snow in its mountainous areas. Obviously Antarctica is all ice. So you've got South America with those um, mountains there. We've also got all of the USA almost, apart from Florida and I believe this bit here is Mexico. Yeah, that's Mexico. We've got Florida here. Don't know which state this is. I'm sorry, but I don't know much about America, even though I'm going there. Or well, I am there as this video has been uploaded. So, yeah. The world isn't doing too good now. So even on the warmest parts, like in the African desert, there's the Sahara. That will probably be cooling down for now. It won't be very hot anymore. So if we continually speed up as well it looks like australia i want to say is also well no australia is actually doing good right now so australia is one of the hottest parts um in the earth as well i believe so that's going to definitely freeze over eventually so we're going in three two one or oh, it's still in three come on go down to two yeah there we go in the two degrees now and if we go to can oh let's just speed it up a little bit more so in one degree and now it is gonna hit zero so as we can see Australia is starting to get bits of snow on it. All of Asia is. Almost all of Africa. All of North America almost now. Damn, this is crazy. Right, and now it is dropping. And now the whole Earth is in negative temperatures. So, yeah, this isn't good stuff. So we're going to actually turn off climate mode. And now you can see that all the oceans would be frozen if we put it in this mode. But we're going to put it on climate just so it's a little more realistic. So, yeah, now let's speed up a little bit more. And as we can see... Just continually speed it up. Earth is no more. Well, not no more, but it's completely frozen. Us humans, even though the cities are still there, I think we'd all be buried in the snow at this point. <laughs> yeah, because the rain, remember, Earth would still probably rain, but because it's so cold, it would all be snow and ice. So, and it would just completely fill up because there's no heat source, the ice will and snow will never melt. So, the Earth is now in a global ice age again also known as snowball earth i believe so oh i don't know what's going on there but some crazy stuff there so yeah earth is pretty much yeah we're, we're dead by now surely yeah minus 30 degrees 30 degrees so yeah we're done mercury's still doing surprisingly well actually 130 degrees how's venus 400 degrees still wow that's really surprising actually but it is cooling down and then mercury probably is as well how's good old mars minus 68 
We've got the asteroids here, they're pretty much cold. And then we've just got the gas giants, which are always cold anyway. So, yeah, we're mainly going to be focusing on the inner part of the solar system for this episode. So, yeah, this isn't good. So, this is basically like um, if the sun was going to be a white dwarf or a black dwarf. This is what would happen. Right, so this would pretty much be the same circumstance for white dwarf and black dwarf and probably a pulsar as well because pulsar would be so far away you wouldn't even see it. Don't know what's going on with the sun right now. Uh, it's in a binary orbit with Venus apparently. I don't know how that works since it has the mass of the sun I believe. Yeah it does, that's pretty weird. Right, so how's Venus doing? So Venus is continually cooling down. So if we just speed this up more and more. Okay, this may take a while. So if we just speed this up more and more, their temperatures are eventually just going to completely freeze. And Venus, I, I want to say Venus's atmosphere may go away, so it will just end up like that. But I, I don't know. Would Venus's atmosphere just disappear after a while? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it would, actually. Yeah, there you go. There's Venus. It may look like that. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure it would stay the same like this. It would just get colder. So eventually, if we just put it to zero degrees, we'll do the same with Mercury. Like that. All the planets are just going to be completely cold. There won't be a single warm planet, and it will just stay like this for pretty much forever because black holes they will um, take a very, very long time to um, eventually just evaporate. So if you don't know, um, black holes would evaporate eventually when they um, are not consuming any objects. Something called Hawking radiation. I don't know anything about that, so don't even ask me. Black holes are very, very complicated stuff, and they're probably like one of the biggest mysteries of the universe till this day still. We don't know how they uh, operate, what's inside them, of course, and all that, so pretty crazy stuff. But yeah, that should do it for this episode, guys, because I did what you wanted, put a black hole in, but actually, before we end this, because that's, that's, that simulation is finished now, but if we just go into a new one, we're going to delete the sun, and we're going to put the black hole in the middle, but we are not going to um, put a press auto orbit in there, so... We're gonna, all of the objects are just going to fall into the black hole or they're just going to fly off into space. So we're going to see what happens here. So if we um, have a few minutes, we just hit play. We're going to immediately notice that the objects are either going to fly away or they're going to fall into the black hole. So as we can see, Mercury looks like it is on a crash course of the black hole, I want to say. Oh, that orbit is very, very risky there. So actually, let's actually just go full crazy mode. Let's press um, hold all velocities, and now everything should crash into the thing of the highest mass, which is the black hole. So, oh my god, okay, so it looks like um, a lot of, st okay, we actually should try that again, I couldn't even, I can't even tell you what happened there. Alright, so, let's um, get a new black hole again, so, let's um, delete the sun again, put the black hole right in its place, then do powers here, and then go to hold all velocities and now I'm going to slow down time a lot because black holes they will suck stuff in quickly so I'm going to for a few minutes hit play and as we can see Mercury is going to be the first um, victim of this so it's already on its, it's crashing into them and we can see it's, its speed here is increasing very very fast so we'll also put the background of the simulation on a we'll put it on just grey or white maybe so we can see where the black hole actually is it's very, very small there. Okay, let's just go with a grey one. Or well, actually, I don't know if I like that. Actually, let's just go with... Okay, let's, add, let's just go with this one here. And we'll just change the colours quickly so we can just see a little more of what's going on. Okay, I don't know why it's black, actually. Why is it Why is it still black? Okay, let's just... Um, space blue, maybe? Change the colour of this to that? Okay, I don't know why... Well, okay, that's better. There we go. Alright, so we should be able to see the black hole now if we turn off trails. So, once we get close to it, we should be able to see it. So, okay, Mercury's definitely speeding up now. Look, 1920, it's still increasing in speed. Kilometers now there. So, now it's going to 80, almost 100 now. And as we can hopefully start to see, well, we'll remember this black hole is very, very small. So, we probably won't be able to see it very easily. But, yeah, 2.95 kilometers. If we just hit pause there. Look at this, we just paused it at exactly the right time, so if we just slow this down... Oh, this is interesting actually, I haven't done it in the latest version of the game either actually, like I think I said it earlier, so... As we can see, the black hole, even though it's very small, it is consuming all of these objects that has been shredded apart. So Mercury, it's literally just been, it's like it's been smashed by a hammer and it's all breaking apart, so... Oh, this is awesome, just look at this black hole, is it even getting bigger? No, it's not, it's still the same size. Okay, I don't know how that works, but... Mercury just vanished. So, there we are. 
Okay, I think what I want to do is we're going to lock the mass. So we're going to make it a little bigger in size. So we'll pull it up to 5,000 kilometers. Wait, is that even going to work? Uh, it won't even go bigger. <laughs> what is happening right now? 5,000, please? Okay, it won't even get bigger. What if we just... Okay, it is literally stuck at that. So, yeah, this tiny, tiny little black hole has managed to consume these humongous objects here. So that is that. So I can't make it bigger. Actually, what we're going to do is we can quickly delete that. And we're going to put the 10 million one in. So there you go. Now we can see what's going on. So just do hold all velocities again so it resets everything. All right, so now, now we can see the black hole a lot easier. So it won't matter how much mass it has because everything's going to get sucked in anyway. It's just probably at a faster rate. So now we're looking at Venus here. And poor Venus... Probably isn't going to be doing very good after this. So we're travelling at milliseconds here. And as you can see, it's got a lot more powerful pull than the other black hole did. So I'm going to speed this up. Oh, here we go. This is minutes. And it's being pulled apart so quick. Look at the speed this is travelling at. 80,000 kilometres. That is crazy. So Venus is already being torn up from this distance. That is crazy. So its atmosphere will probably just disappear at this point. So there you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> it just got completely just shredded. So Earth is up next on the kill list. So here we go. Earth has already been shredded apart as well. So us Earthlings probably won't be doing too good right now. So okay. Oh, ah, oh, damn it, I missed it. All right. So we'll keep going though, because we've got plenty of other planets to um, play around with here. So I'm gonna have to be very careful with how the timing works on this, because if it gets too close, it just gets pulled in so fast we can't even catch it. Oh, I don't want to wait hours. Oh, that one, okay, that was a little unfair there. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Jupiter next. So, you, but anyways, you get the point. These objects, they're not doing too good, are they? So now we've got Jupiter here, so we're going to slow this down. I wonder if we want to see Jupiter get shredded apart. That'd be interesting. So, we're traveling at seconds here. Okay, here, here we go. We can see this a little easier now. So we've got the humongous black hole there. And as you can see, Jupiter is starting to get shredded apart by this m humongous black hole. So, oh. It's getting closer and closer. Oh no. So, if we continue this, we can see it's losing its hydrogen mass. It's definitely going to get smaller after a while. It's losing Earths. So, this is 12 seconds. It's losing one Earth every 12 seconds. That is ridiculous how much mass it's losing. And there you go. So, it just got closer black hole. And the black hole just consumed it completely. So, now if we just speed this up again, so we put it at a much faster rate, the black hole is going to suck in absolutely everything. So we've got those guys there, we've got Uranus next. So let's speed this up. Oh, look at all that, that's crazy. But when you speed it up, sometimes the objects go flying past, they go through the black hole, which is kind of weird. But yeah, all the objects are meant to crash into it. So as you can see here, we've just got tons of stuff just flying into it there. Don't know if anything's in orbit. Okay, I don't know how these fragments are in orbit there, but yeah, there you go. So. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed this. So this is what would happen if we had a black hole in the centre of the solar system and made all the planets orbit it, or we literally just put a black hole and just watch everything fall into it. So yeah, there you guys go. Hopefully you all enjoyed that because that's yeah, pretty interesting. But lastly, let's just go into a whole new simulation. We're gonna get another black hole out. So let's get let's just get a hundred a hundred sun one. So there we go. And hopefully it's not too large. Then we'll put a Jupiter next to it. Oh, it's a little larger than Jupiter, actually. So let's put it in a binary orbit of Jupiter, and it's going to shred Jupiter apart. Wait, where'd it even go? Right, we're going to need to set it down. It got shredded apart that fast that we didn't even get to see what happened. So let's slow this down. Now I hit play, and Jupiter is not doing good now. Oh, my God. So as you can see, it's losing mass, and it's eventually just going <coughs> to... Excuse me. It's eventually just going to completely... Go like you know when you put a pin inside a balloon and it just pops. It's just going to get smaller and smaller every single time. Well, it doesn't pop, but it's definitely going to get a lot smaller as this black hole com continually shreds it apart. As you can see, it's losing lots and lots of mass here, and eventually, it's definitely not going to survive this. Is a black hole even moving? Okay, the black hole is moving. Okay. Hey, what is even going on? Look at all this debris. Wow. Okay, let's make it a little further away actually, just so it doesn't pick up all of its debris as much. So let's just do it like that. It still should get torn apart, hopefully anyway. Is it still losing mass? Okay, is it or not? Okay, it's gaining mass. Okay, we need to make it closer again. Dang it. All right, so let's pull it right there. So let's, let's pull it so it's literally almost touching it. That's going to be pretty crazy. So now we hit auto orbit. Now what we want to do is we want to quickly slow it down. 
and just watch this in slow motion. So, yeah, Jupiter's not going to be doing too good now. Yeah, so like I said, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. Make sure you did leave a like, subscribe for more, and help us on the way to 800 or 900 subs. I don't know how many subs the, video, the channel will have by the time I'm uploading this on holiday. So, yeah, that's not good. So, yeah, like I said, I'm pre-recording all these. So they're all going to be privated. They'll be uploaded long before you see them, but they'll just be... um. I'll unprivate them when I want to release them, just to make things easy. So, yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. Oh, there we go. So, Jupiter is now just going to completely just get torn apart. Poor, poor Jupiter. So, it's losing mass, it's getting smaller. But, yeah, like I said, hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Look at this just flying Jupiter, just flying out. So, yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more. Hopefully you'll have a good day. And we will now watch Jupiter completely just disappear. Yeah, there you go. Completely just shredded into nothing. So, yeah. That's it, so I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.